Hey guys, George here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video comparing my two Les Pauls, my Gibson Les Paul with my Epiphone Les Paul Lazarus. Now if I just held them like this, could you tell the difference which one's which? Could you tell? I have a thing for Lemon Burst Les Pauls, as we can see, but uh, which one am I keeping? Is it both? Is it neither? We'll find out today. Or will we? I want to start off by saying a few things. Uh, the Epiphone has the, you know, he has a puncher's chance. Um, it's He's the underdog, you know, um, a $2,000 underdog. So if it's even close, it's a no brainer, right? Like the Epiphone wins. Is this even worth talking about? But I think it is. I want to start off by saying this. That Epiphone is a great value and it delivers on everything. It's a great guitar, and if you just wanted to know that, there you go. You got it. Epiphone's an awesome guitar. Go buy one. It doesn't say Gibson on the headstock, though. Yeah, it doesn't say Gibson. Look, the Gibson's got all the bells and whistles. I mean, all the electronics, the knobs, the tuners, the finish, everything's of a higher quality. The fretboard is this beautiful rosewood. Um, the frets are bound over by the binding. It's just... It, it, it feels more premium. The case is super heavy duty. The latches are like, you know, what I imagine luggage felt like a hundred years ago. They're just like a chunk as you open it. And the smell, oh, that nitro smell, nothing like it. Then there's a difference in the top. That AAA top on the Gibson is like nothing that I've seen on any guitar. You know, that's, it's amazing. The Lazarus has a nice top too, but it's a veneer, you know, it doesn't have as deep of a look. It doesn't look like uh, the Gibson just takes your breath away. For me, the main thing was the pickups. I mean, if the Epiphone didn't have burst buckers in them, Gibson two and three burst buckers, I wouldn't have bought that guitar. Because those are amazing pickups. The Gibson Les Paul 60 standard comes with 61 burst buckers. And those are, they're a little hit or miss for me. So they're Alnico 5 magnets versus the Alnico 2s in the Epiphone Lazarus. And I gotta say, I really prefer the Alnico 2, the Burst Bucker 2 and 3s. That was a little disappointing for me and hard for me to kind of accept that I could like the sound of a less expensive guitar than a more expensive one. But in my mind, I'm thinking, this guitar kind of checks all the other boxes Pickups are kind of like the easiest swap. Well, maybe I guess like swapping out tuners is maybe even easier, but this is not a huge deal. And those 61s aren't bad pickups. They're just not my preference. They're a lot hotter, a lot more sizzle. They're less woody sounding. I really like to hear the sound of the guitar. And I feel like the 61 burst buckers kind of take a little bit of that away to add more bite and sizzle. In terms of feel, they're worlds apart too. I mean, the Epiphone has this really fat neck and uh, you know, you kind of want to like riff with it. And the 60s neck, it just makes you want to fly. Yeah, so the Epiphone Lazarus is smooth and buttery and the Gibson sounds like thunder going off. Let's hear them, let's compare them. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below.
So after hearing them overdriven in the beginning, and then now hearing them clean, what do you guys think? For me, it was simple. I love how the Gibson 60s Les Paul felt and smelled and all the little things, but I really just didn't love those pickups. For me, they were just a little too brittle and had a little bit too much top end on them that you just can't get rid of. Um, so for now, that's going and the Epiphone's actually gonna stay. But uh, a really good thing has come out of this and it's made me realize that what I really want is a 50s Gibson Les Paul. I want the fatter neck, I want the more vintage voice pickups and spoiler alert, but one's on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button down below and please don't forget to subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And I'm gonna be putting out a lot more guitar and music related content in the future. So until next time, see ya. And it's hard to stay away. The sea devil's grasp on my brain.